I'm the altcoin analyst. Nothing here is financial advice. Let's dive in. Before we get into the charts, I keep seeing the same comment that you guys think I'm depressed or something, or depending on if the market is green or not green, my I, I talk a certain way. So this time there was actually a comment that got a lot of discussion regarding that. I've seen them in the past quite a bit too, but I'll address that with I have a mentor who is who had an opinion uh, on some of the content I've been making. And it stems from if you film yourself in front of a camera and, and you talk in front of the camera, you might put on like what's called a news reporter voice, which is like not your regular voice. And so my mentor's recommendation was talk to the camera like you would a friend. And so that's something that I've been working on. And when the whole comment section either thinks I'm depressed or I have an I told you so attitude, I, I still have some work to do on that. But the whole idea is to build a better experience for the listener. So it's not really related to the market moves. And that was one of the suggestions. And it's also not related to like an I told you so type attitude because that was also another comment in there but i just wanted to get that like get that out in the air because i've started seeing these comments for like a few months but recently this one got a lot of conversation in it so i figured i would talk about that but the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be on x and this is from plan b and obviously this is like I think this has to be clickbait. Plan B was one of the few that were, or one of the many that were horrendously wrong back over here. I mean, the list goes on and on about how many people were endlessly wrong back there. But Plan B was one of the one of the people that have said we would be north of 100k by now. We would be in the banana zone by now. Based on well, I guess, I guess technically he didn't say that, but it was, he would advertise it based on his stock to flow model if it played out. And I think previously that model has already broken, but I just commented, I thought we were supposed to be at hundred K by now. So where does that leave us now? Where's the market going now? Well, I think if we dive into some technical analysis here, the $65,000 level, which I don't think we hit, but I counted as this range, we came up and visited. So there's two things that I think are, well, we can either go up or down, right? But I think that it's gonna be interesting to see if the $60,000 level holds, or if we go up to the $67,000 level, which I think is kind of the next area that's interesting in terms of a technical structure, if that holds, or like if we can reclaim that level, like if we go up to that level and reclaim it, or if we get rejected up here and then come back down. So I'm gonna be looking to see if the 60 can hold because that would be a little bit more bullish. And then if we make it up to this the 67, what happens at that level? And just go from there. I think not much has really happened. We've just kind of been on this nice little slow grind up for most of September. We're seeing some relief in, in some altcoins, but again, most of them are still still down. I'm not looking at altcoins. I like to see the Bitcoin dominance peak out and in a downtrend, and I don't think that's the case. And let's go to total three, because I see this pattern being played out quite a bit. People are drawing like a wedge here and saying like anytime now anytime now i keep seeing this like an arrow up and unfortunately this pattern right here reminds me of why does everything remind me of bitcoin back in 2017 2018 where we have this nice little pattern here. Same sort of wedge type thing. And 
and we broke down. So if we go back to the total three, who knows? But that pattern reminds me, this pattern is just scarring back in, <laughs> back in 20, whatever it was, 2018. And so someone also in the comments was like, oh, he must have lost everything last cycle. Well, I got hit really hard in 2018, December 2018. So you learn from your mistakes. Now, the other interesting thing here in the stock market is that the S&P and the Dow Jones are all putting in new all-time highs, but the NASDAQ is not. And therefore, the NASDAQ should put in new all-time highs, right? Who knows? Maybe. I mean, people are pointing to these indices and saying, well, Bitcoin has to go to new all-time highs soon. It's imminent. I don't want to say it can happen. It very well can. But I would like to see some strength in the market, in the chart, before we end up, before I, I start sounding like everyone else. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this bullish momentum we've had could potentially just fade. Like, I've been right the past, like, seven months, guys. So, altcoins have not been the play. Bitcoin has been the play. Now, let's see. What else do I want to cover here? Um, we can look at Ethereum because I think the Ethereum chart, we had this level right here. That was, I think, a that held for quite some time back in February and then ended up breaking through. And then we've developed this structure bef below this level. And I think that's pretty, pretty bearish, especially when we're starting to see some lower high action. And so, I mean, maybe we can continue up, but these, like, I, <laughs> I'm tired of being bearish. I really am because it's no fun. Let's just take a look through some altcoins and then we'll kind of wrap it up. This might be a short one today. Uh, let's go up to Ada here. Ada ended up getting a nice little bounce. So some altcoins are, are showing a little bit more strength than others. But this momentum might just end up fading a little bit. Let's go to Aptos. Aptos. I mean, it got a nice little pump. Adam's one that's just really horrendous. Avax. I mean, most of the charts look the same. They, they've they made it back up to the kind of their highs in August. Dot, a little bit weaker than the rest of them. I know there's a lot of ICP fans in the, in the comments. I see you guys. I mean, it is kind of making this... We'll see if this bullish momentum can continue for a few more weeks. Link, again, this previous one that I drew out it, it broke above but these we'll see if these charts can break out and then if we look at my total three minus top performers we did make it back up here we did run the highs and this is kind of what we're seeing out of a lot of altcoins so we'll see if it can continue or if this is just going to kind of fade back down to range lows and, and come back down here and as far as like a recession goes, if a recession is going to happen, it will likely, I think, be a little bit more obvious to spot when the Fed starts printing money. That's kind of where I think, okay, either we're in a recession or a recession is, is pretty near because the Fed is sensing it and the Fed is needing to actually start to stimulate the economy. So instead of going down, this chart might start kind of creeping back up. As far as doing something like this, I don't think they can... I have a hard time thinking they can just print another $5 trillion and $4 trillion into the market, something like that, because then it's just going to reignite inflation. So... 
I think I'm going to be looking out for this and that might be that that's when I think things might start to get interesting. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.